الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله السلام عليكم السلام عليكم أيوة ما سنتين خير الله ينسيه I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's found time to come and be with us today as we celebrate the decision of the High Court to validate our election pursuant to the petition that was filed by my worthy competitor. I, in particular, want to thank the leadership that is here who have come to celebrate with myself and my deputy. I want to thank the Honorable Senator Abbas Sheikh Mohammed. the Honorable Member of Parliament and Senior Politician the Honorable Alan K. Nan of Eldas Constituency the Honorable Yusuf Muhammad Farah Member of Parliament for Wajir West the Honorable Hussein Abdi Barre who was here and had to catch a flight to Wajir as he, launches, as he launches his um, CDF buzzery scheme tomorrow, I also want to thank the Honorable Fatuma Abdi Jehu, Member of Parliament for Jia County. I want to thank um, Honorable Alan Dawood, who is not here with us, but has congratulated me on the win and sent his apologies. He is in Mombasa on official business. I also want to thank the Honorable Mohammed Addo. He also sent a congratulatory message and actually tried to call me over lunchtime when I was in the mosque. I want to thank also the members of the county assembly who are here led by uh, the deputy speaker. The speaker is in Akuru, also on official business, and he has sent his congratulatory message. I want to thank the Honorable Ugas Sheikh Mohammed, who also was a worthy competitor, who was also with us here, found time to be with us. And I also want to thank everyone else who is here and everyone who sent a message who called to say congratulations on the win as has been said by everybody it is a win for the people of Wajir it's a win for early closure of matters election it's a win to curtail the destruction of electoral petitions. They are usually a very big distraction at a time when we are going through a lot as a county when we are trying to save lives. But I appreciate it's a constitutional right for everyone who feels aggrieved to go through the process of court. And we have no qualms about that. All we're saying now is the High Court having given its verdict and taking into account the reality and the situation on the ground with respect to our electorate, can we then get a closure so that we can move forward to save lives. But 
I also want to echo the sentiments of the Honorable Senator who has for the umpteenth time urged His Excellency the President to declare drought a disaster and an emergency of unseen proportions in this country but not only to declare but also for the national government to come to the aid of the counties in the drought stricken parts of the country. We are overwhelmed. We are unable to cope I have said it before, there is need for the national government to do more. And I actually urge His Excellency the President to come and see for himself what is going on in northern and northeastern Kenya.